Think your heads. Welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the support team bringing you another video. And today we're going to be talking about one of our brand new stream decoders and how to take that decoder and convert NDI signals to HDMI. Uh, this decoder can do a lot. It can take those NDI, Dante, uh, RTSP streams, all those different streaming protocols and convert it to HDMI. But for today's video, we're just showing you how simply it is to take uh, an NDI camera or NDI source and convert it to HDMI. So if you're looking at connect it to a display or anything that will take HDMI, take that NDI network stream out of the computer and in, into a physical monitor or any sort of a device that has an HDMI input. Um, so if you need more details about the, the stream D, uh, go ahead and check out the link below. But today we're just going to do a little demonstration. So first things first, let's go over our setup. As you can see, we have the BG Adamo 4K NDI camera already rolling. Uh, we have everything connected to our local network. Uh, what's great about our uh, BG Stream D it, it is PoE, so that is powered over by Ethernet by our network switch, so it makes it set up really easy. Um, it's also DHCP enabled, so uh, makes it really easy to get it on your local network, so these two can talk to each other. Also, I have my laptop connected to an unmanaged switch. Everything's connected to our local network, and then we have our monitor. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and dive in. So once you connect this to your local network, just doing like an IP scan based on like maybe the MAC address and uh, it will find the IP address. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, diving into my computer, I found that the IP address of the decoder is 192.168.10.149. That's just local to our local network. Password is, I mean, login is admin, and a password is actually four zeros. So one, two, three, four, and boom, we are logged in. As you can see, all right, first first tab here is our source. You can, like I mentioned, you can have multiple sources that you're you're decoding. You can have a video file, uh, NDI, which we'll be diving into, IP stream, and then Dante, which is great. And you also can embed some audio. Um, so first, I'm going to go ahead and um, find which NDI stream I want to select to convert to the monitor. So I have a couple on the network, but we'll do with, go with the Adama 4K NDI. I'm going to hit apply just to confirm that. And let's connect this to, so there's an HDMI out on the decoder connected to a monitor. Hit apply, and it looks like it's popping up right now. And boom, there it is. That's how simple it is. Um, sometimes you might have to reset once you make that connection. You might have to reset the uh, decoder to uh, confirm that handshake. Um, but that's how simple it is. I have my NDI feed coming from my camera at our beautiful house plant here, Old Faithful. Um, so coming in at uh, 4K at 60, just passing through it. So uh, just kind of diving in a little more into the web interface, just some other options. If you're looking to uh, adjust your output on your monitor, you could do that as well. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, this also has a, a 3G SDI out. So if you're looking to convert NDI to 3G SDI, there's also an SDI output on here to like a, a monitor. Um, so in a, as you can see, a lot of uh, resolution options here. And then you can also adjust a lot of other um, settings here. You got your network settings, you got your image processing. So if you're looking to maybe adjust the screen settings, um, video parameters, camera parameters, system, pretty straightforward. You get your firmware updates, factory reset, user, and then you got your status of the output. And uh, that's about it. That's how simple it is. Uh, what's great is if you have multiple NDI feeds, you can select it from uh, the drop down right here and switch between different NDI feeds onto the monitor. Um, but for just right now, we just have that one camera. And uh, so, yeah, simple, really easy. Taking your NDI source. A lot of, we have a lot of NDI cameras and convert it to HDMI. Very point to point. Um, so if you have any questions, as always, questions, comments, feedback, leave them in the comments below. Uh, you know, if you have any issues with installation or any network issues or anything, uh, hit us up at support. We'd love to help you uh, along the way. If you have any questions about how this would be a great fit for your environment, uh, reach out to our sales associates. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos like these come out. And as always, you know it. Have a great day.